Hey there, welcome to CNT Collectibles. I am C. Hope you're doing very, very well today. Welcome to your weekly sports card chart blast where we look at the price action of our favorite collectibles. Price is truth. Uh, if you like this content and uh, you just enjoy it, find value in it, whatever, you don't hate it, how about that? Um, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and uh, let's get to it here. Start off as always with Mike Trout. Mike Trout will create room or compress prices for other cards here because he is, uh, no, one, no one's going to pay, pay more for a uh, uh, a base card than they are for Mike Trout, at least in recent memory, the last couple decades. Um, but his PSA 10 is breaking out, which is nice. We have this consolidation. Prices were compressing. One of these days, we're going to know is it breaking out or is it uh, coming back in? So uh, one move brought it up to 3,500 bucks, or roughly. And uh, it's it's been in this this range around three thousand dollars. So maybe this is too much, too quick. Look for a little bit of a pullback, perhaps thirty two hundred bucks or something. But uh, this is a very positive sign here. If we can get more people on board with this, then we can see some people chasing. And as his prices rise, then that will create room for some of those lesser cards. You know, not I mean, not lesser players, just the cards that are lesser value. You know, Mookie Betts and all that stuff. The kind of the next guys. Uh, you know, on that longer term path to. Uh, to see their prices rise as well so very good development for the baseball card market if this can stick again we need a few more people on board but that is uh that, that's better than, than than breaking down so there we go all right mike trout in a psa 9 not seeing us the same pop really kind of hanging around the bottom of its range here lots of buying in this area back in the day and uh we're coming up on that again so if you're looking for a less expensive version of that card uh, sitting around just a thousand, just a you know thousand eleven hundred something like that it seems like a decent spot to uh, to maybe get in. But the trend does remain down. And we'll wrap it up by the Mike Trout part portion of things. I've got more for you here in the BGS 9.5. If you want uh, volatility and you want to trade this thing, the 9.5 uh, certainly offers that. So it's in its buy zone. It's getting uh, snapped up relatively quickly, but I don't know that it uh, it gets you know thrown out here now. If the if the PSA 10 that price does, you know, kind of hold that $3,500 area. It creeps up to $4,000. People will say, "What a great relative value!" And then you can start to get that out here. So, we'll uh, we'll we'll continue to monitor the Mike Trout situation because that's all the action we're going to see from him uh, for the, for the rest of the season here. So, uh, but again, he's kind of your your leadership. You can pick the top guys in each of the sports and get a feel for the general direction of the uh, of the market. Bryce Harper. Your uh, your clubhouse leader for a National League MVP, although his uh, his past few games aren't going to help things a whole lot here. So uh, PSA 10, this is the uh, leg up version coming up to uh, to resistance here. So um, you know we had the, the the breakdown. We're looking for something around 90 bucks, leaked below it just a little bit, a uh, little little bit, and then uh, now you can see that it's it's respecting the top of this range here. So we've got a, a consolidation. Might see some uh, might see some downside here, but um again for the longer term a player that you probably want to own it's not as expensive as some of the other guys on his uh on his path um but he's got 87 different uh flagship rookie cards so it's another one of them the tops update uh they, they just call it the update he's got screaming he's got leg up you know they could go with running on this one at least but no they're not that clever they're just going with update so a uh, nice breakout out of the downtrend and now it's consolidating retest and now the uh now it's at a, a spot where perhaps some buying will come in yet again um if it uh, threw back into this area real quick it wouldn't surprise me i think it gets snapped up really quick then um again a lot of interest in this part here in in this area and so we'll see if uh uh, we'll see what happens here if that brings out some sellers or anything like that so a lot of overhead supply not a lot down here so you could have some more sellers than than buyers um but um again with his with his path that seems like a uh it seems like a decent spot close enough ish all right well, one soto uh he and harper have just been amazing the back uh, back half of this season so um you, you there's there's chatter about soto there's chatter about harper don't sleep on Goldschmidt <laughs> um, he's, or Trey Turner, really. Those guys, uh, you maybe are going to get a little chatter because they're in the playoffs and these, these guys aren't here. But Juan Soto Bomb's range at 125, 130 area is very attractive to people here and it is uh, it is breaking out. So uh, very quick move, sitting at 150 bucks. So um, again, light volume here, so maybe a little bit of throwback. But if you get uh, if you if you if you get cracks in that 130 area, give or take a few bucks, that's that's probably your price here. 
because he's awesome long term. So this is your area of support, and we'll see if it uh, can break out of this uh, this downtrend here. Tried to once, but immediately rejected. So it's gonna take another crack, and at some point it, it it does. So we'll see if that is in the near future. His Bowman's best, however, has broken out, retested, and now you're into an area where there's been a lot of accumulation well, slash selling. It takes to to make a transaction in the past here. So uh, we'll see how this uh, see how this goes, but this continues to, uh, to to pull in a lot of people. Uh, a lot of buying in this area here so we'll, we'll have to monitor let's see uh, a lot of people here that bought are now whole again and they may uh they may overwhelm any potential the selling could overwhelm a potential buyer we'll see but i think uh any any pullback in this one is um is a buying opportunity for mr soto vlad guerrero uh al mvp contender probably should get it but <laughs> otani is uh your clubhouse leader over there but We'll look at Vlad, bottom of the range, getting a, getting a pop here. So up in this area, not much to do. Down in this area, something to do. Nice little buy on that one here. So that's the PSA 10 and the missing card number, the Chrome PSA 10, compressing to the downside. So look for a, look for a breakout here. So it's it's close enough to the bottom of its uh, bottom of its uptrend here. So again, there could be a slight down little little, little uh, downdraft, but I think that would represent buying opportunities and the pink psa 10 sitting around uh 300 so uh, that's at the bottom of the range here so um i went the cheap route bought an sgc <laughs> especially with uh the chromes and the, the half borders and stuff like that i can't tell on centering so i don't care too much um and uh you know i wanted the card and uh you know what the heck you know so um the uh, less expensive way to do it is to you know, obviously lesser grade unless you know different grading company so um but if you want the, the big dog here sure looks like a pretty interesting spot to uh to, to jump in on one of those if you've been waiting Shohei otani who probably walks away with it although uh you know his, his pitching's actually been pretty good this year <laughs> um you know the wins part has of it has and he's he's improved over the last few starts here um, but the hitting, he's, he's, he's tailed off just a little bit, so eh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, downtrend from uh, from the top here, broken its longer term uptrend, um, respecting the lower part of this uh, this range here. Um, but now it's just testing the underside of the previous trend. So let's see, uh, you know, as you, you know, if you have a breakout, you're looking for a retest. Same thing here, breakdown, you're looking for a retest. So could see some lower prices. Now if he gets the MVP and you know, could pop to the top of the range here, but the trend is down. You're kind of in the middle of the range, and I just kind of see this enough where you know textbook would be you know coming back down into this area and that would be more of a buy um but you know the market's going to do the thing to you know, to maximum it's going to take the past path of maximum frustration for the most amount of people so if it just spiked out of this and went to a thousand bucks i mean that would that would probably frustrate a lot of people so uh the update again broken uptrend here but sitting close enough to the bottom of the range if that is a card you are looking for mookie bets getting a little choppy here a little volatile so respecting its downtrend but it's in a pretty decent buy zone here sitting around 300 dollars. so um you know this was kind of you know that 300 350 is kind of more of what i'm thinking is the real price here the, you know whenever it gets below that it gets up it gets snapped up really quickly so if you're quick maybe you can get something like that at 275 area or whatever that is but um, again, longer term path heading to the playoffs and the season hasn't been a total loss or anything like that. They're just other people that people, other players that people are looking for. And this might be one of them here. So uh, momentum is, uh, is is pretty flat and so are the prices. So uh, for Lou Bob and the uh, Chrome PSA 10, but uh, a lot of accumulation in here. So people are just respecting the price, but if it breaks out, then the price starts to go up and you'll have people starting to chase. I think this is a big target for a lot of people looking at some of the quote unquote higher end um of his of his cards you know the sapphires and, and things of that nature they are ripping uh less demand it's easier for demand to overwhelm the supply on that one we're, right now we're looking at you know a 10,000 population on this card so it's, it's going to take a lot of demand over to, to overwhelm the supply and really get those prices to to spike here but it could happen as those higher end cards start to move upwards you know people will start to trade down into the chromes and the in the refractors and things of the, that nature and that could start to drag them up but but for now it's going to take a lot of horsepower to get those uh, get those to go up but um you know it, towards the bottom of its range in this area and what he's doing it uh for me for me anyways it's a buy and his uh white Sox counterpart uh eloy jimenez psa 10 also the uh the chrome bottom of the range getting a little bit of lift off here we'll talk about him more in the monday show which is more fundamental and baseball oriented but real quick if you look at his uh his profile right now um he, his exit velocity 
his hard hit rate, those are down. I think he's still feeling some of the effects with the injury. He's not at full strength, but if you look at his plate discipline, strikeout rate, walk rate, contact rate, you know, what he's swinging at, uh, what he's making contact with, medium contact, soft contact, those are in line with what he's done the past couple of years. And so as he gets stronger, maybe a full off season is what it's going to take. Maybe he can do something in the playoffs, but you know, the, uh, over the offseason, if he's able to get back to full health next year, we should see regular Eloy again, and this may present a, uh, a pretty darn good opportunity. I did pick up uh, one of his golds the other day, you know, just looking at this. I like I like Eloy. Um, again, that longer-term picture's in doubt. Um, he's going to have to be pretty darn special over the next uh, 10, 15 years. Um, but I think uh, in between, you know, he could be an absolute stud. And uh, so I've, I've invested before, and I've bought before, and I've, I'm buying a little again now. So... There it is. There's Eloy and Nolan Arenado. It's Cardinals, man. <laughs> they cannot be stopped, and they're in the playoffs. So we'll see, uh, see if he can uh, start to match, you know, the, the old guys, the older guys, Goldschmidt and Wainwright. <laughs> so if he can start to do something, could see a little lift. Broken his downtrend, continues to uh, test it. So we've got a uh, uptrend here. It is sitting kind of at the bottom of that momentum. Is, uh, is is flat again this is more signaling just not a lot of volatility in the moves here so when you have the wide bands it's like that's an aggressive move one way or another when you have these tight bands it's like eh, okay it's probably not going to do a ton here but i think if you're looking for a uh, pretty a guy on a pretty good hall of fame track and you've looked at this card and it was you know sitting upwards of 300 at, at, at one point um this is a pretty decent opportunity and you compare him to other guys you know compare well just compare him to like Soto right now. Would you rather have an Arenado rookie or a Soto rookie? I mean, Soto could be better, but I think it's going to take another five years to really get to that, a couple of years to get to that level. So it seems like a decent price for that. Jordan Alvarez, top of the range here. So uh, bottom of the range is picked up very, very quickly. So I don't know if you're going to see that one again, but if you look at these buying clusters here, you know, the trend is down, but it seems like that's, uh, that's where people are willing to step in, you know, 40 bucks for a Chrome PSA 10, so a nice pop here. So we'll see if it can bust out. Your score is not favorable at this time, but Houston is in the playoffs to see what he can do. He wasn't really part of the the cheating thing or whatever, but he's getting lumped into it. So uh, we'll just we'll, we'll see if we can get some buying to step in in this area right here. So your risk reward, I think, even though technically unfavorable, I don't think there's a ton of downside uh, to that particular card. Um, this season hasn't been. Hey, here's here's Jordan again. <laughs> it's so nice did it twice. Jordan, not the you know, not the most amazing season or anything like that, but not not bad. All right, let's talk about an amazing season here. Wando, Wander Franco, uh, your first 80 grade perfect prospect. You know, you should uh, statistically put him in the top one percent of all prospects that have been on that grading scale. Is what, is what that 80 means for the most part. Over the last month, in 65 plate appearances, he has hit 362. With uh, 183 weighted runs created with over a 1,000 OPS, he's striking out 3% of the time. He's walking 10% of the time. Only one home run. Otherwise, maybe he'd be getting a lot more height than he is. But six doubles, a couple triples, really fo like 40% of his of his uh, hits have gone for extra bases. And so um, he was 20 years old. And so at some point, um, you know, those doubles, maybe they start to turn into some more home runs. I don't think he's graded out as like this huge power prospect or anything like that. But everything else um, is as advertised here. Not striking out, he's hitting. He's a man among boys. Um, so his price is ripping a little bit on the news, but off quite a bit from the high. And this is an area where there's some, where there's been a decent amount of buying. So you want that next Juan Soto type player, a generational talent. Uh, this is it, you know, health and all that kind of stuff. Asterisk, asterisk. But you know, sitting at 200, 200 bucks for a uh, for a, a Chrome PSA 10, um, those prices are up there. I mean, you're gonna pay pay a premium for it. But I am, uh, I'm sure looking for not the tens or anything like that, but uh, raws and stuff for the boys to put away because I think it's that level type player. A lot of people think that. I'm not, I'm not alone in this. But I just, you know, at this point right here and what he's doing on the field maybe doesn't quite line up considering his age. And so, yes, this is a card I am uh, aggressively um, targeting. So in the near future here, so I've got a, a couple, but again, I want a couple for the uh, for the boys. They don't touch mine. All right, Bowman Chrome football. Tom Brady PSA 10 breakout retest, and now it's get it's a little bit choppy here. But I mean, it's a twenty thousand dollar card, so you're not gonna see a ton of volume on that or anything. Um, but the trend is up, and so um, we've done a pretty decent job of. Uh, really nice job of calling this one here so let's see if the uh, next move is is down but the trend on that one uh is to the upside the bowman chrome psa 9 maybe a little better risk reward potential here so the price is uh 
the price is um, you know roughly in a little bit cheapish actually to to what you would pay for the uh, for the PSA 10. So the 10 would be you know 21,000. So that would probably maybe a seven thousand dollar PSA 9 or something like that. So um, yeah, you could see that move to the top of the range perhaps. But risk reward sets up favorably on the nine on the 10, not so much for the very near future. Or um, the PSA 9 stays kind of where it's at, and that 10 comes back down to you know 18 or 19 thousand or something and then that lines up a little bit better my homes my homie your homie my homie um in the donner's optic this is the psa 10 bottom of the range getting some lift off here so a little too much too quick he had a good week though he's gonna have a good season got his boy uh gibson yeah or yeah josh uh yeah, was it josh gibson yeah whatever i gordon <laughs> thank you um uh yeah see if the 18th time is the charm for him but he's got tyreek and kelsey so what the heck so this is an area where there's been some decent buying and uh yeah it's kind of in the middle of the range but if you are looking for a mahome um you know that downtrend is is continuing here but uh, a little bit of pullback does present a, a pretty decent opportunity but again the trend is is down so we'll see how that plays out josh allen had a nice week here bottom of the range getting a bit of lift off here and uh you know in this area it's a quick spike down and now you're seeing a little bit more activity in here so if you get a spike down not sure that happens um but yeah this is a pretty uh probably a pretty decent spot for mr allen with a little bit of downside and a lot more potential upside and again he uh, he had a he had a pretty good week so yeah we didn't do the three and out this week Honestly, not many people watched it, so I'm just folding it into this one here. So uh, I'll do a little bit extra football here. and some, some guys that had some good weeks. I don't have the stats in front of me, but trust me, they had good weeks here. Air Bear had a, had a good week here. So thrown to his uh, his boy, uh, what, um, eh, who is he throwing to? Mike Williams? So, all right, uh, middle of the range coming off just a little bit here. So we like it closer to the, uh, to the bottom of the range in the raw. So um, if you're patient, maybe you get a little bit better price on that one here but um yeah so it's it's kind of carving out a, a potential bottom here like a lot of those other younger players here so they uh if it, if it does leak down into this area then it's a pretty decent uh, buy and then matt stafford who's uh who's finding receivers all over the place here so uh you have his psa 9 and his psa 10 this is the 9 getting uh getting a rip here the 10 is actually coming off just a a little bit on some of those other charts that I was looking at. And the nine has showed some uh, wild relative outperformance here. So, uh, is it time for the tens? Is he starting to get some love? The tens to to, to rip, uh, pretty thinly traded stuff. Where the nine's going to take a dip. And so, with the way these are going, as that nine price gets up closer to the ten, people are just going to say, "Why don't I just buy the ten? Um, you know, eight hundred bucks, four hundred dollars more, I can get the ten. You know, this should be you know two thousand dollars." So. Uh, we'll see what happens on that one, but you know, maybe the 10 represents a better opportunity in the near future. Ezekiel Elliott with uh, showing some signs of life here. Break down into this uh, buy zone. Anything below this is your kind of your one-offs, and this looks like kind of a one-off here. So anything in this area is probably your your buy on uh, on Zeke. And so we'll see. That's the 2016 Prism Silver. So see how that uh, how that plays out. But it seems like a decent enough spot for a uh, for a fairly popular team. Kareem Hunt. Uh, doing a doing a number this week as well. I had it. Well, a couple of fancy teams happy about that one. So fifty bucks, uh, ripping all the way up to the current price of ninety dollars. So that's uh, that's that's a big move here. So um, maybe too much in the near future. Getting up into this ninety dollar area has been met with selling in the past, and so maybe Nick Chubb has a good week next week and he doesn't, and this comes back a little bit more. But uh, you know what the heck? We know his we know his talent there. So Mike Williams. Catching balls all over the place here. So this is his uh, PSA 9, $35 for that one. So I don't know about his long-term prospects or anything like that, but uh, 20 bucks to $35, um, that's a big move. Um, but you know, he's, he's the way he's going this year, at the, he might be in line for a bigger move. And Cooper Cup, we've had him the first couple of weeks, and so I can't break the streak on this one. And you know what, he earned again, another big week here. So. Um, we like we had him in the the, the bottom of the range ish here and, and liked him for a for a pop for the season and now you're starting to see some buying come in as well so um now will this bring out some sellers i mean a lot of people have some pretty good profits on this one and how much do they believe in cooper cup to just hang on and ride it but you're starting to see more transactions and so what we need to low population but what we need to be uh wary of is you know is this going to be a deal where more sellers than buyers or are the buyers going to overwhelm and overwhelm the sellers and continue to drive that price up so you get up to an area where there has been some selling in the past and so we'll see how that goes again but sure like him what he's doing and no reason he can't keep it doing but this is a pretty good move so far so we'll see if the uh if the profit takers come out Devontae adams with a competent week here but he continues to grind lower but there's some accumulation in here maybe we can get uh, some of those buyers to uh to overwhelm the uh, the sellers on this uh on this higher volume for our low population car justin jefferson 
for my uh, for my Vikings here in the raw cost you seven bucks. <laughs> I like them at 20. I like them at 15. I really like them here and I will continue to be wrong apparently. So that that's how that goes here. Trend is trend is down, but he's a heck of a talent guys. Pay attention to the Vikings. You don't know, whatever. You don't have to do that. So that's crazy talk. All right. PSA eight Michael Jordan basketball time here in your range, like $8,000 up to like $10,000 or $12,000 or something like that. Really, you know, these are kind of spikes here. So I would call it uh I'd call it like 10.5 or something like that is your is your upside downside. But whenever it leaks below that 8,000 to 7,500 roughly, it gets snapped up pretty quick. So I think this is your, uh, your bottom. It's been that for for a while. So we'll see if uh, if he can start to grind higher. Then that's going to create some room for the uh, the rest of the basketball market. Now people just flock to those lower end cards and push those around anyway. So he doesn't necessarily necessarily have to go up. But I think for those other high end cards then uh then this will create some space the lower end cards again they're, they're kind of in their own world here so all right lebron james not a lower price card 20 2003 tops chrome psa 10 continues to compress with decent levels of accumulation here so it's respecting this so marcus is trying to figure out what to do so if jordan breaks out then this is kind of the example of what i'm talking about here then you can see lebron uh break out and perhaps kobe who's sitting at the bottom of his range as well see if you can get some uh some lift off um, in in card, you know, in the court he could get left off just fine, but as far as <laughs> apparently off the court as well, um, in hotel rooms. But um, you know, this card price, let's see if they can get uh, see if they can get going. Luca, 2018 Donner's base PSA 10, a little fake break down to the down below. So we've seen this in the past. Quickly recaptures and resumes its uh, trend slightly upwards here. So a uh, big move to the top and rejected, and now you're outside the range and still coming back in. So your next room could be move could be a big. Uh, Big move to the top here. Um, Steve Speaks is probably just going to do that one all by himself. He's going to grab another one and just push that one right to the top. So he likes those, those, Lucas. Excuse me, Kevin Porter Jr. PSA 10, top of the range, also compressing here. So again, if we can get Luca to kind of break out, then that maybe that creates some room for these other lower price guys to uh, break out as well. So just Mark is trying to figure out what to do, and we'll, we'll see what. See what happens. Michael Porter Jr., no relation, I don't think. So, all right, bottoming process is uh, is intact here. A little broken downtrend is getting a big pop this week. So maybe look for a little bit of a, a little bit of a pullback. But again, with all these spikes, you just want to look at the look at the cluster of sales, and that gives you the, the general direction of the trend here. And it's forming out a forming out a bottom here. So if we uh, if we started to come back up into this range, which is a decent move here, you know, it's 180 bucks or something like that. It could uh, that could work out. And we'll wind it up here with uh, Porter House. So we'll just keep with the Porter theme here. So um, now I'm now I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. That looks that looks pretty darn good here. So the uh, the, the trend is is I'm not even gonna say it's down. It's just uh, you know it looks like it's uh, in a beautiful beautiful zone here, nice and nice and pink with a little bit of crust on the outside. And what better way to, to pair that than with a nice uh, dark Porter for a rich fatty Porter House? You you pair it with the Porter here. So. All right, that's what I got for. I hope you guys have a uh, guys and girls have a great rest of the weekend, and we will talk to you later. Bye now.